Hey guys and welcome back to another one and once again with the Xiaomi Notebook Pro that we have seen that's a great laptop but not perfect. Now in the last video we changed the keyboard layout with stickers for my kind of keyboard, the Portuguese one and I will leave a link down below for that and today we are going to change the Windows 10 Chinese version to an international version. And this video is sponsored by NordVPN, a VPN service available for almost any platform with servers in 56 countries at an affordable price. Check out the link below for more details. And we are back. So first of all guys, what I did was to head over to Kingwin, which is one of the places that I usually go for software, at least OAM versions. And there I did choose, as you guys can see on screen, the Windows 10 Pro license, just because it was one year or more expensive than the home version. And although I don't need the Pro license, I did get it just because uh, of that small difference. Now next we need to download the MIDI creation tool from Microsoft. I will leave a link down below as well. I did run the app and then followed the on-screen installation and it's really easy as you guys can see by the screen. The app will download the necessary files and then create the USB installation drive. The whole process took about 10 minutes or so but this will depend on our network connection speed. And guys by the way I did prefer to use my desktop to do all this, the preparation of the USB drive, but we can use the uh, notebook pro in this particular case uh, the only downside is that everything is in Chinese so there will be some menus that will not be easy so if you have a desktop or other laptop laying around just use it will be easier if not then you will get by do, <laughs> doing this on the laptop now next we will insert the USB drive on the Xiaomi notebook pro then restart the computer press F12 so that we can choose the boot drive. In this particular case, we will choose the USB drive that we created. And then we will press enter so that we can uh, go to the Windows Setup Wizard. And then there will be uh, some settings to select like language, time, currency, keyboard style and so on and so forth. Then we will select all that, press the install now key and there Windows will ask for our Windows license key that we just purchased in this particular case from Kingwin. Agree with the license, then I usually choose custom install just so that I can delete every single partitions uh, existing and then I will create a new volume and select the primary partition, press next and Windows will start the installation and take a while. Now once it finishes it will restart and basically the next time it will finish the installation. Now during this process there will be a few more things that we will be asked but really simple, really easy as you guys can see by some images on screen and it will restart a few times and that is it. Once it boots up we will have a fully working uh, Windows 10, in this particular case Pro, English but we can choose any other language. Now at this moment we are almost ready to start using the computer or to be more precise we can start using but we are missing some drivers. So the next step is to head over to Xiaomi website, a link down below as well. It's in Chinese for a change but they have all the drivers for their notebook series. I did download for the Notebook Pro and I also downloaded for the uh, Xiaomi Air 13, the latest version that I've got right over here. And after that, all we need to do is to install. We have two packages for the Notebook Pro and one package for the Air 13. We just need to install all those drivers and once we install, everything is working. The whole process took about one hour or so, but after that we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the fingerprint, which works awesome, by the way, in both uh, these laptops and everything right now is in English, which is <laughs> what I'm used to it, although I'm Portuguese and the old uh, computer is working as any other computer and that is it hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one